Alright guys, let the fun begin. Let the fun begin here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Good God Almighty. Good God Almighty. Come on, dog. Oh, Jesus. Alright. We are having some fun now. We're in the uh, collapse of everything. Oh, God. Jesus. Man, it was 93 degrees a few minutes ago. 93 degrees in the wet bulb and uh, I bet it's going to be 73 degrees in five more minutes. Oh, Lord. Gosh, we have no internet. I, you know, I, I do this rant, I upload the rant. It's fully uploaded. It is 96% checked with one minute to go. One minute to go. And uh, there you go. And we have no internet. Don't know if we have any electricity or not. Do we have any electricity? Nope. We have no electricity. Unbelievable. I was, uh, the rant I was thinking about doing was how uh, climate change is going to keep uh, bringing the grid down. Good Lord. All right. Well, I don't know what this is going to look like in uh, in 20 minutes here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. How many trees? Good God, how many trees are we getting ready to lose? Uh. Ah, hell yeah, we having a good time in the collapse of everything. This is, uh, this is the single biggest ass kicking storm I have seen in I don't know how many years. Uh, good. Fucking God. Hello, baby. Uh, I don't know how many trees are down. I'm just hoping the uh, tiny houses survive this. Jesus Christ. Hello, Nellie. My God. Uh. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. We're having some fun now. My God. Oh, Jesus. Yep. Well, I would say my pond is filling up. I just got the first crop of blackberries and blueberries of 2024 pick. Just got in my berry picking five minutes ago. Uh, Jesus Christ. This is the single biggest ass whipping storm I have ever seen in upstate New York. Uh, this is my fifth summer here. 
I have never seen anything like this in my life in New York, baby. Welcome to the new normal. Oh, God. It looks like the wind, that big blow has come through and uh, unbelievably, I don't see any. Uh, I don't see any trees down yet. Uh, there is no telling what, uh, when we're going to get our power back on. And of course, here at Bugs in a Jar, you know, everything, when we lose our power, we lose everything. We lose our, we, we lose our power, we lose our internet, we lose our water, uh, and we lose our telephones, uh, and we even lose the toilet because even that has the damn electric pump on the septic. So when we, you know, when the grid goes down here at Bugs in a Jar Farm, it goes down. We have uh... all right. Well, that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. Uh... And poor little Joe Pie weeds. We'll see how they uh, recover from that. Good uh, yeah, God Almighty. Welcome to it. So, you know, these are the kind of storms I was raised with in Atlanta, Georgia, back in the uh, 60s and 70s, where it would be 93 degrees. And then uh, 15 minutes later, it would be uh, 73 degrees. So th th this, to me, growing up in Atlanta, Georgia, 50 years ago is normal. This was normal, uh, you know, pretty much every day. <coughs> God, I love these damn things, and uh, sure keeps the grass green. Sure keeps the grass green. Uh, Uh, anyway, if you're a fan of these monster storms, you will, uh, <coughs> you will love it here in the new abnormal. Ah, uh, fuck. been nice if it could have lasted one more minute so I could have gotten that rant up uh, let's do it over again oh Jesus what a day this has been an exciting day at least my little dog uh, this little dog was pretty much paralyzed this morning my a little dog has two of these tick-borne diseases, Lyme's disease, and I, I cannot keep the name of the second one. Begins with an A, plasmo, anaplasmosis. So uh, the vet also diagnosed me with these. So uh, Sancho and I are both on tetracycline. The dog and I are both taking the same medicine to uh, try to get rid of our 
tick-borne diseases. Uh, tick-borne diseases. Monster thunderstorms in New York. Fucking grid going down three times a week. Uh, yeah, I'm sure, really, I'm sure that really helped the grid in Candor, New York. Uh, lordy. We do know how to have fun at, uh, have fun. I'm sure my guest, these kids up in Blue Dragon, I can't imagine. They can, they're up here from Austin, Texas. So these, <coughs> these kids come up from Austin, Texas to uh, the Finger Lakes of New York to get away from the summer heat and, uh, <laughs> and the bad weather in Texas. And they think the Finger Lakes of New York is a fine place to get away from the heat and the hurricanes. They uh, blew out on Hurricane Barrel, getting the hell out of Texas ahead of that hurricane so they could uh, come enjoy some good weather in the Finger Lakes of New York. You know, it's... It, whoa! Hello, baby! I mean, if you lose your sense of humor, you've got nothing left to lose, guys. You know, you drive from Austin, Texas to Ithaca, New York to uh, get out of the bad weather in Texas. And this is what you get when you get here after sweltering and wet bulb all day. But, uh, you know, as long as I don't lose any trees, I'll, I'll, I'll take this over that fucking wet bulb, guys. I will take the 100% humidity over uh, that 90% humidity. <clears throat> oh, my poor little Joe Pie weeds. Let's see if it should be recovered tomorrow. <clears throat> oh, Lord. Good thing I had my berry picking when I did. <clears throat> Uh, but still, I mean, you can't even see the water in the creek with, with, with all of this rain and shit and all of these big storms, the creek, this is looking out over the creek, there's no sign of the damn creek. It's, it, it's not completely dry, but I, you, you would think with all of these goddamn storms that there would be some water in that creek. So, I, I, I mean, it's a joke. So, here we are. And, and these, uh, you, you, you can see how much rain we've had since I got up here two months ago. Uh, and the damn creek's almost dry. I mean, what the hell is that about? I mean, I honestly don't understand why that fucking creek is dry. At least my pond is pretty much up to the top. Oh, Lord. All right. Yes, it's starting to settle down a little bit. It's not a very wide band. I was looking at the weather map uh, north of Ithaca <clears throat> uh, starting in about Ithaca and up to Syracuse good lord you take this and uh, that band going through there right now I mean what Syracuse has got to be getting hit with I mean this is mild compared to what uh, what Syracuse is getting hammered with right now oh lordy lordy all right, little Joe Pie Weeds, what do you think? Uh, 
but doesn't kill you makes you stronger but look at these look at these geraniums they're just standing straight up good lord they the poor coleus don't look that good. Ugh. I hope my, uh, oh no, I, I think I have bad news for my eight foot tall, six foot wide tomato plant. I think, uh, I, I'm afraid my eight foot tall, six foot wide tomato plant uh, got shredded. Good thing it was the cherry tomato plant. We'll see what the rest of them look like here in a few minutes. Uh, you know, but I mean, I don't know what the cornfields look like around here right now. You know, all the corn is uh, about three weeks. The, the corn is about chest high. I mean, thousands and thousands of acres of cornfields about chest high right now. I, I mean, it's, it wouldn't surprise me if they're flattened. If they're just lying on the ground flat right now. Wouldn't surprise me one bit. That's really, uh, I can pretty much see that that tomato plant is wrecked. I'm gonna make a run for the gonna make a run for the kitchen. Get my camera too wet. Good. God almighty. Alright. It is a fine day in the outdoor kitchen. Uh I think I need to get the, the leak in the roof fixed. Oh boy. Oh no, there is no sign of my eight foot tall <laughs> tomato plant. God damn it. That is too bad. Two months of hard living taken out and Five minutes. Those Joe Pies don't look too good either. Uh, we'll see what they look like by morning. Oh. The Mexican sunflower is kind of depressed. And walking around the mar picking up the picking up the pieces of what the hell blew down I am very disappointed about my damn eight foot tall tomato plant I think this uh, flower box is getting well watered what do you guys think there you go that's right about, as they say, what I, what I grew up with. 20 minutes from beginning to end. 20 minutes. And uh, you can already see the, the sky brightening to the west. Uh, if I had a phone, I would call Sandy and see what I... Last I spoke to Sandy, she was fleeing to her basement. She was screaming into the fire <laughs> screaming running down into her basement but of course there is no basement it bugs in a jar oh lord let me go look at the uh the wreckage in the tomato garden i gotta keep the out of the damn rain. This is really going to be depressing. <sighs> well, maybe it survived better than I thought. 
Yeah, all right. Now the eight foot one survived. I don't know about the six foot ones. They're in cages. I know what I'm going to be doing tomorrow out here with steaks is taking up my poor tomatoes. Oh, the, the zinnias don't look happy. But uh, <laughs> that's the beef steak. At least I can look at my uh, my beef steaks on the way. Oh Jesus! Get out here tomorrow. With... All right, the eight foot tall, six foot wide tomato plant. Looks like it did pretty well. It was actually the beef steak that got it worse than anybody. Uh, I'm on. Get back up. Oh uh, well. I can pick you up in the morning. But I haven't been able to see my tomato crop. Oh yeah. Future BLTs of America. Alright. And these goddamn horse flies are already on me again. <laughs> Good Lord. Oh no. So much for staking up that uh, blackberry. And man, look at this pond. Look at that pond. That baby is up to the top. That is a happy pond. Happy pond, happy fish, happy frogs. Alright. Then go up to Seahorse. Alright. Sure there's no major casualties and I didn't lose a tiny house. Uh, good God Almighty. Now, sea horse is up at the top of the ridge. It takes it, uh, sea horse takes it in the short and curlies. Oh, boy. All right, do we have any trees laying on seahorse? I have no insurance on these tiny houses. It goes without saying, not one red cent of insurance. The horse looks totally fine. Okay. Let me check on these kids from Austin, Texas. See how they came through the big blow. Uh, yeah, there's hardly any limbs down. I mean, I'll probably find things over the next few days. And let's find okay. All right, even the tuberous begonia <laughs> still sitting there. All right, let me go check in with these kids. Texas, get out there and enjoy the new normal while you still can. Oh my God.